Well, I said I'll give you my verdict, and uh, I still hate Earl Grey. Good morning, welcome to Vlogmas Day 18. I'm gonna have a tea. I don't know which one to pick. I didn't end up having a tea at all yesterday. I'm gonna go with this Earl Grey creme. I'm not gonna make a massive mug. I'm gonna have a little cup of tea. I'm gonna see if I like it, and if I do, what a revelation. I'm also gonna have yesterday's boring um, cornflakes. And I might treat myself with a little bit of sugar on them. But the plan of the day is tidy the house, because it's D&D &D day. But I also want to make some of the biscuits that the grocery girls posted the recipe for two years ago, because I've never made them. So I thought I'd give that a whirl. When we went to the shop uh, a couple of days ago, I bought the bits for it, although, Molasses, not a common thing in this country. Oh, uh, no, no, no. So I have bought black treacle instead, which is slightly different, but I'll make it work. So I'm quite excited to make those biscuits, um, but I need to eat something and have a tea first. I've just finished editing yesterday's vlog, um, and it's currently saving. It's a little bit late in the day, um, but it's been, I washed my hair, and that always takes ages, especially because I put a hair mask on, and I shaved my legs, and I got rid of my moustache. You know, I just had a bit of a pamper shower um, because first day of my holidays. <laughs> but I'm gonna make biscuits um, for D and D tonight, and also as a Christmas present. Biscuit! I'm gonna make some biscuit. So here is my shawl. Um, got my tea just here. Just took some pictures for Instagram. Here's a better colour of it. It's really nice. But um, going against my better judgment on the tea, and I've put some milk in it because it recommended it on my packet. Hmm. We'll see, I will let you know, because you know my strong views on not putting milk in our gray. Maybe that's why I don't like it. Maybe I'm drink drinking it wrong. Who knows? Well, I said I'll give you my verdict, and uh, I still hate Earl Grey. It's just not a nice tea. I mean, I gave it a really good go. Like, that's most of the mug gone. Can't finish it. It's not pleasant. How does anyone drink it? I'm baffled. Not for me. Right. I'm gonna clean up the kitchen. I just had to edit my vlog for the second time. And it's not a short one. Um, so, as it was saving, the computer program froze because our computer's too old and can't hack all of it, all of this drama. Um, and it froze. And so I had to edit it all again. Oh my God. Worst thing ever. So I don't think edit number two is as good as edit number one was, but I can't do anything about it now. So I'm gonna make biscuits and make myself feel better. So one of the first things I have to do before I actually start baking these is um, convert the recipes from cups to grams. Because in the UK, we don't use cup cups. So now here is me writing out the recipe in grams. I guess I could go on the um, post and see if someone else has done it. No, I'm just gonna look it all up. I can't be bothered to go through. I might be here a while. <laughs> so it didn't take as long as I thought. So it is 170 grams. I'll write it all in the description. I was gonna read it all out to you but I'm not going to do that because that's boring to watch. I'll write it out in the description. I'll obviously put the recipe link in the description as well for those of you who prefer using cups over grams. I'm a grams girl, because that is what I was brought up doing. But you've got to make the dough and then put it in the fridge for half an hour. So I think I'm going to make it up now and then while it's in the fridge, get my Christmas card done. So I'm now running out of time because I had to edit that video again. So let's get going, let's get going, let's make biscuits. So in here I've got ooh, 200 grams of butter, no that's a lie, 170 grams of butter, unsalted butter, and 200 grams of light brown sugar. It doesn't state what kind of brown sugar to use. So I went with my gut. Now I'm going to mix them together. Yeah.
and there's a bit mixed together much smoother sweet right next step I just realized you might not be able to hear what I'm saying because I'm doing my washing at the same time um egg one egg and about 110 grams of treacle is the next step this may take a while and you mix it all together this is gonna be a really fun bowl to clean so now that's all somewhat blended I'm going to add uh, 250 grams of plain flour uh, two tablespoons of bicarbonate of soda oh no teaspoon sorry teaspoon important two teaspoons of bicarb two teaspoons of cinnamon half a teaspoon of cloves one teaspoon of ginger and a quarter teaspoon of salt but I'm not gonna add it all at once I'm gonna do it bit by bit and apparently I can't find any other spoon so I'm gonna put my mixer on, on. So I have wrapped the dough in cling film and put it in the fridge and let me tell you, as someone that comes from a country where salmonella in raw eggs isn't an issue because our chickens get vaccinated against it, this is really good cookie dough. I'm so excited to make these. Mm -mm -mm. If you had a bigger fridge than we do, you could leave the dough in the bowl. We have a tiny fridge. I had to, had to make it work. You understand. I've even washed everything up. I'm so good. Um, but now I'm going to do Christmas cards and put my camera battery on to charge because um, otherwise I'm going to run out of battery. Now I understand people who daily vlog as their job um, have two batteries. It makes so much more sense. Luckily, daily vlogging isn't a job thing for me. It's a fun thing because it actually is quite fun. I thought it would be far worse than it is. So. And that's my review on Vlogmas. So they're out the oven. Da -da -da -da. I don't have much kitchen space in this house. Um, they spread quite a lot, so if you're making them yourself, leave more room between them, because I didn't leave enough room between them. But, I've made a total of 29, I've got the second batch in the oven now. Um, I'm going to leave them on the baking sheet to cool because they're very soft. Um, the dough was really wet when I was rolling it and rolling it in the sugar, so that does make sense for it to be a wet, um, no, uh, the dough to spread. That does make sense, so that's okay. I haven't done anything wrong. But they're in the oven for 10 minutes at 180 degrees C Celsius because the recipe is written in Fahrenheit. So I had to look that up. Well, it's meant to be 175, but I just 180 because, you know, you guys are rebel. But, um, quite excited about these biscuits. They should be good, hopefully. I need to put some aside for my friend and then some will be for D&D &D tonight and I'm sure they will be demolished and I will want to make some more. Maybe I'll make some to take down to my parents. This, this house smells fantastic by the way. smell of vision isn't a thing but this house does smell fantastic. And I've made myself a cup of snowball because snowball never lets me down. I'm like oh great. I don't understand how people can like it. But then that's what makes us all unique. We each have our individual taste. I had a thought about those biscuits because I just took the second batch out and they're even flatter. I think I should have frozen the dough. I don't think our fridge is cold enough. I think the dough needed to be colder before it went in the oven so they don't spread as much. I think it needed to go in the freezer as opposed to the fridge. Next time I make them, put them in the freezer so they firm up even more. Because I don't, yeah, I think that's what the problem was. That does make sense. I mean, they'll still taste good. They're just quite flat. 
I'm a little embarrassed that I'm gifting some, these to someone with them looking how they are. But it is what it is. It is what it is. It's the thought that counts, hopefully. Hi, I put a bit of makeup on, not much, just a gesture. And I'm wearing my hat that I'm giving to Mario that still needs blocking because I've just woven in the end. Um, then I thought I'll put it on my head. But um, I thought I'd quickly join you before people start showing up for D&D &D, um, and open my advent calendars. So I've got my Bird and Blend one. I'm getting through them. I think I already know what this, what today's is because of spoilers on Instagram. But it's eggnog. It's a rubos tea. We're putting all of our eggs in one basket with this blend. They rival me with puns. Um... Rubos tea, cinnamon, sunflower petals, and natural flavouring. That's the wrong side. Eggnog. Maybe I'll make this up and have it now. I want to know if I like it, because then I can buy it, maybe. Who knows? It's a Rubos tea, so that's got no caffeine in, which is quite nice. Not that I ever have a problem with falling asleep, but... Except for last night. That's because Critical Role was too exciting. So this is my advent calendar for Mario. He puts something in my tin every day. Which is nice. Still the original tissue paper, much more crumpled than it was. Ooh! So I've got a dice bag. I've got some Rice Krispies. And I got my D20. It's like he knows we're playing D&D &D today. It's like you timed it or something, Ange. Or something. Or something. Lip. And Vickers. Yeah, my D20. So this is the one that makes all of the deciding rolls. This is the big one. All the others are just extras. But this, this, this is the one that determines if I hit things or if I successfully, I'm hidden or, you know, and that kind of thing. It's the big dice. Without this one, I'd have to, I wouldn't be able to play D&D. I, my first roll on the dice was a natural 20. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show you this. If I cut it, it's because it's not focusing. Maybe I'm too close. There we go. Natural 20. My first roll. I hadn't touched it or anything. Oh, this might be my new lucky dice! Or I've just wasted my only natural 20 this dice had in it. How exciting! Good evening. So we played D&D. &D. We had to stop in the middle of a fight because um, we fussed around too much. Um, I almost killed my D&D &D character tonight, so that was fun. I have a bag of holding, uh, which is basically a magical bag, which means you can hold a almost finite amount of, or infinite amount of stuff. Um, there are restrictions. <clears throat> and there is a limit, but it means you can carry more than you should do. And then I turned into a spider because I'm a druid and I can do that so I turned into a spider and then went um, to explore this person's house because he'd stolen a ton of stuff so I went in with one of my friends of the party who was using his familiar to look through who's a rat um, if you don't play D&D &D, this sounds really weird so I go in as a spider I'm looking around I go in a wardrobe there's a big old bag now, can the spider go in the big old bag? No. So get out of the wardrobe, but turn back into my seven foot fur bog self. Look at the, see the bag there. Try to put it in my bag of holding and then think, wait a minute, this might just be somebody else's possessions. So then I look in the bag, the bag, it looks empty. Is another bag of holding. So um, I just put it on my back, turn back into a spider, because then I absorb all my stuff. And so, um, yeah, Mario says that if I'd have put the bag of holding into the bag of holding, that I would have created an astral plane. 
A rip in the astral plane. I tried to undo the hot water bottle, but I couldn't undo it. So I tried to be helpful, but then I failed. So yeah, I would have created a rip in the astral plane, which would have sucked me in and killed me instantly, instant death. So it's a good job I decided to look in the bag. Ooh, chilly. Might have to go to bed soon. Quite chilly. But yeah, it was a good um, final D and D session of the year. We just Mary's filling a hot water bottle. If you can hear that noise in the background, it's not someone having a wee. But um, we took too long farting around, so we're now in the middle of a fight, which is kind of annoying. And it's with two fire giants and six orcs. Now five orcs. One of the orcs died, right? But yes, it's been uh, quite a chilled out, nice day. I used my new dice. They rolled mixed for me. Can't complain, the biscuits are very tasty. Maria doesn't know if he's such a fan of the fact it's rolled in sugar, and that's okay. Maybe next time I won't roll them in sugar. I will just do them plain and then um, freeze the dough or refrigerate it for longer. Maybe refrigerate overnight is the way forward. Maybe I'll get some more flour and make some more tomorrow and some more butter because then I can do it, make them tomorrow evening then put them in the fridge overnight, bake them on Thursday and then take them down to mum and dad's on Friday. Maybe that's what I need to do. But yes, the plan is for tomorrow is get up, maybe wrap some Christmas presents, try and find the sellotape, wrap some Christmas presents. Um, maybe pack some stuff ready for Friday because we're going super early not super early like eight ish so relatively early on Friday and then yeah I'm meeting up with one of my friends in town for tea it's him that just texted me because I need to give him his Christmas present so that is the plan for tomorrow I don't think I have anything extra to share. I've made some tiny leg warmers for Lola. I don't know how they've gone down. I only used fabric glue because I was lazy. But I'll have a look and I'll show you what they're like tomorrow. Um, yeah, it's really difficult to sew something so small and get things like straight. It's even diff more difficult to glue something so small and get them straight, so I don't know why I thought it would be easier. And I've cast on a little hat for her. Because, you know, I don't have enough projects on the go. I swear, our Christmas knitting. Bollocks. Right. I'm gonna go. I hope that you all enjoyed day 18 of Vlogmas. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye!